Good morning. Happy Monday. Oh, my hair is a mess. I just, I just got out of bed. Excuse the messy hair. So it's a little bit before 5.30 this morning. We do not normally wake up at this time. I'm out of coffee. Don't normally wake up this early every day, um, but I'm noticing the, uh, but I'm noticing the night or the day, the night before chemo or like how to, that night before Elijah has chemo, I find that I have a hard time sleeping. So Elijah was up at three this morning and um, he peed the bed. So I had to throw out that sheet set. And I have a um, mattress protector that protects from, you know, accidents in the bed. So I wiped that down in the wrong spot and changed him and then I couldn't go back to sleep. Uh, I started watching some YouTube and then when I saw that it was five o'clock, I was like, well, I'll just get up. <laughs> so, um, brushed my teeth, washed my face, came downstairs. Now I'm trying to make some coffee. So these are the Nespresso pods. We have the Virtua line. So these are the pods that we get. And I normally either drink the vanilla or the caramel ones and them all out. So we only have these left. And this is the Colombian one, Colombia. And then I think these are like sample ones. What I like about Nespresso is that um, their capsules are fully recyclable and um, you, they, you can ask for a recycling bag. It's free to get the recycling bag and once you fill it up, you mail it back to them. And um, they put the shipping label on it. So literally it's free to recycle back. That's what I like about these. And you earn points for recycling for towards coffee. That's a win-win. I'm not sponsored, by the way, but if Nespresso want to sponsor me and my family, we drink lots of coffee in this house. We probably go through three or four cups a day of this stuff, so. So, I thought since I got up early, and I have like two videos I need to edit, um, I have a vlog from last Saturday, and I don't think we've vlogged really since until now. Um, because last week, Elijah was, it was like a week of chemo for Elijah, and not feeling well, he still isn't feeling well. So it was kind of hard to like want to pick up the camera and shove it in his face. Or in my face. And. You know, I took a few pictures, and even just those pictures, I thought, I thought that it was, uh, even those pictures were hard to look at. It's just been a shitty week. Last week was just really shitty. It was the start of this new cycle, delayed intensification, and they warned me, they warned us, oh, he's gonna be sick, he's got any blood transfusions, it's gonna be very aggressive. They didn't lie. But I didn't expect it to happen that fast. I mean, literally, Monday, last Monday, last week, was the start of this cycle, and he was feeling pretty shitty that day. And then, the next day and then and then Wednesday started to feel a little bit good and then Thursday back to the clinic for more chemo and he's just been shitty since just been feeling really shitty shit since and this afternoon we have to go back for two more rounds of chemo and then again next week <laughs> so it's been hard to like 
pick up the camera and vlog when one, I don't want, part of me wants to film this process because like a reminder, cause he's gonna get through this, I know he will, but it's gonna be like a reminder and for us to look back and be like, look at how strong you are, dude. Look at how strong we all are. <laughs> to like have gone through that, to have gone through such a shitty time and look at us now, like thriving, healthy, happy. That's my picture of future and that's what it's going to be so like that's why I want to vlog it but part of me is like I don't want to because I don't want to remember this I'm torn I'm torn so I'm not excited about chemo today because I feel like this dude needs a break but nope it's not how this cycle is set up Good morning, happy, what is today? Wednesday, my days are all thrown off. I feel like it should be like Thursday, but it's Wednesday. Today Elijah got chemo. Um, yeah, today, so today is day two post chemo. And he's doing a lot better this morning. He still wakes up very, very shaky. I don't think I've mentioned that. He's, since he started this new chemo, he's been very shaky lately. And I talked to the oncologist about it, and she said that it could be um, a side effect of the chemo because it causes the chemo, one of the chemos he's getting causes chills and flu like symptoms. Sorry, it's dark, I'm going upstairs. Um, or it could be his blood sugar is low because he's not eating. Hang on, sweetheart, I'm coming downstairs. I'm coming back down. I'm coming back down. No, you stay downstairs. Okay. Um, so his blood sugar could be low because now he's, his intake is like extremely poor. Extremely poor. Or his electrolytes are off balance. So. Monday when we were at the infusion clinic, the oncologist tested his blood counts, which are amazing right now. Um, and she also, Elijah, get out! <laughs> um, she tested his blood counts, which are good. His electrolytes were good. His glucose was good. But we think it was probably because. Careful, you might slip. Go down on your bottom. Go down on your bottom. Well, I gotta wait for him to get out of the way and then I can throw it down. Daddy's gonna come right quick for you. Oh, careful. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> okay, I got more coming down. Watch out! Stay out of there! Okay? Yeah. You guys are out? And, and, and hold it. Not it? Yeah. Ah! Okay, ah! more's coming. Stay ah! down. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh. Alright. And that's how I get laundry downstairs. <laughs> So it's like 
pick it up. Hey. Hey. It's going back to Elijah being shaky. The fact that he's not eating hardly anything. He's his weight. He's falling off that curve, like I've mentioned. Um, and I think I mentioned like the other day, that Monday when I vlogged a little bit in the morning, um, that there was talks of tube feeding. So we got to the clinic, we readdressed his eating habits, we talked about what the nutritionist recommended, and um, we ultimately decided to go ahead and start tube feedings. So, I have instructions on how to feed him and um, right now I don't have all the equipment um, I have the equipment let me put it this way I have enough equipment to give him bolus feedings meaning like I have to manually do it but the equipment like the pump and ivy pole and all that stuff is coming in later hopefully later today hoping for that pump um, because it's taking me like half an hour to feed him and that's kind of hard to do when you've got two little kids um, like to make sure that he stays sitting down and I can do the tube feeding is fine he'll sit with me but then if she might if Amelia needs something I can't help I can't help her so it's just a little hard it's definitely he's a one-to-one -one right now First thing I have to do before I start tube feeding is make sure that the tube is in place in his belly so I have to listen for it. So I just get an empty syringe, fill it with some air, and I have his NG tube in this little tubey pocket that I got off Etsy that I'll link below. And I just connect the empty syringe, put the stethoscope where his stomach is. I push the air in and listen for a whoosh sounding. And I heard it. Now I'm good to go. Now that I know it's I in, I'm gonna I flush it with a little bit of water. I see slippers and not shoes. I just see, see water. I just see slippers. Go find I know there's more shoes in there. Go go find some shoes. You're not wearing those to school. Sorry. Flush with a little bit. I'm gonna hook up the 60 ml syringe. It's a big guy. I'm gonna take out the plunger. And I'm gonna hook it up to his NG tube. So it looks like this. I'm actually gonna move the camera, hang on. I'm gonna put in about 40, uh, about 30. I don't wanna fill it all the way because if he gets gassy or burps or like starts to vomit, this will move up. <laughs> so I only wanna do a little bit. So I'm just gonna do 30, start out there. And then I use gravity so I can move this up or down with how fast I want it to go. And we're done, and we're just putting, flushing the line with some water, and Amelia got to do the flush. And now I'm gonna get more after those steps. And that's it. That yes. is a session of tube feeding that took me about 25 minutes. It takes a long time to do it. It does. Huh? Just do it. Right. And uh, now uh, that was tube feeding number one of the day. Five more to go. All you know. Okay. Not Here's all the feeding tube supplies minus the ivy pole and the pump which should be delivered today too. So this is all the formula that he is going to be getting. It is by the brand or the company, well, Kate Farms. Um, Kate Farms. And <clears throat> we got some syringes and we've got like I mentioned, the Joey pump set, so, huh, so that's all that, I mean, we're still missing some stuff, but, <sighs> okay, 
So I think I have this feeding tube all set up. I only have um, 200 mLs I'm giving him right now and I'm actually gonna run it over an hour. But so far I think I have everything hooked up. So I've got the pump, the feeding tube connected. He's set up watching TV. So we're gonna chill for an hour. Huh, bubs? Let that feeding tube run in. It bumped his head. firmly clockwise to tighten. The instruction sheet. I didn't get an instruction sheet. This is funny. Which way did this go? Which way did you do it again? You need to go to the right route. 